Hello, Brother Andrew here. Welcome back to Ultimate Airball Dreadnoughts. And today, um, another Patreon sponsor video. This one sent in by Sunless Guy Nova. Thank you very much. And this is the last of the Stoltz von Deutschland uh, scenarios um, where, <laughs> I mean, I successfully defeated the fast squadron of the home fleet, but the entire thing has shown up. 24 battleships, 9 battle cruisers, 8 heavy cruisers, 26 light cruisers. Um, and I cobbled together the original six uh, Stoltz um, class ships, and I've used the points that I've been building up throughout the chain of scenarios to buy another 14, uh, so that I have 20. So I am outnumbered significantly, but I do... I do have quite a lot of capital chips. Right, let's get into the design. There's no loot. I just have to keep fighting until I win, basically. Uh, so this is going to be a long one. So settle in. So this is the... I think I spelled that right. I could never flip and remember. No, no, no. There's no C in it. Why don't I think there was a C in it? No, oh, because there is, but it's here. Yeah, you just like here. Right. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of towers to choose from. Uh, sweet spot seems to be here. It's ugly, but it'll do. Um, yeah, again, sweet spot seems to be this one. It's quite compact looking. Set up. Now then, um, we will be engaging at range and we'll be dealing with a large number of small ships. Hmm. Guns. Could go 14s, but I think I'm going to go 16s today. Uh, I just want maximum firepower. So I'll go for an AB on the front. And then on the rear, I can go X, Y like that using the built in. Try and be as efficient as possible. Because um, I'm going to want these things to have lots of secondary guns. Oh, I'm going to need uh, funnels though, aren't I? That might be worth considering. 75 smoke. Hmm. Two tall funnel ones would be ideal. Oh, I can fit one up there. Hmm. Let's go for something a little bit more interesting then. Let's go for the tall funnel. I have a, an aesthetic idea. Which is to use the tall funnel four. Even though it's quite big. And then... A large white yeah uh, no it's wrong size. Large funnel kinda works. Yeah, I think the large funnel's the best looking to try and get a good looking superstructure. Not quite even, but uh, I don't think that looks too bad. And in terms of Smoke, one smoke. There we go. So that's absolutely perfect. Uh, engine efficiency is 100%. It will natural bonus. So we'll go up to uh, gear turbines. And we can get these things up to 25 knots. I think that's acceptable. Uh, we're not going to bother with uh, range for this battle. Uh, it would be nice if we had the Orcs diesel. And... The good propeller shaft. Now, secondary guns. Uh, there's no destroyers, but there are light cruisers. Now, I think a 5-inch gun will do nicely for that particular purpose. And then we can get some 3-inch guns on the rear tower. Now we could have an actual secondary battery in here. 
Hmm. I could even get something as powerful as a pair of 8 inch guns back to back. Doesn't increase my roll that much. And it uh, gives me a little bit of kind of anti heavy cruiser class firepower. Yeah, that'll do. A little bit of a four weight offset. I'll uh, give this gun back just a little bit. Yes, I think that'll work. All right. Um, definitely want lots of protection. I want these ships to just keep going. We'll go for the torpedoes protection. Uh, not going to bother with the radio. Uh, we'll go tube powder super heavy. That's always go-to choice. semi auto loading. Yes, I know I've gone overweight. Um, now then, we will be engaging at long range, but like accuracy, even on these 16-inch guns, doesn't get really that great until you're talking about 10,000 meters out. Now, 10,000 meters out, you can go through about six inches effective deck, which is about three inches here. So I reckon if I have four and two, I'll be okay. Um, four on the turret tops. Let's go down a notch on the torpedo protection, because I would like more on the turrets. I'd like at least 16, to be honest. I'd like more on my main belt. Uh, I think, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want 14 inches at least on the main belt. And we're gonna want our extended belt as high as we can get it. 7.1. That's not great. Uh, I think they'll do though. It's still pretty good. We got the 118 percent boost. We are using the biggest guns available. Um, just going to have to hope and pray that this is enough to uh, dissuade <laughs> the uh, home fleet from their advance. Right, let's get to the fighting. I don't think I've forgotten anything else. No. Right, let's go. Come on. Game's going to take a while to do this, isn't it? Dum dee 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 dee. If you're wondering how you could become a patron, there is a link in the video description. But uh, you don't have to be a patron to send in scenarios. Um, you can do that through my Discord server. There's a link to a Google Google Doc on there or Google Form on there. So you send them in. Right. Um, they look pretty normal. Ships, all of them. Just That's a hell of a lot of light cruisers. Right. Uh, I'm going to... Start sorting these guys out, right? Uh, I think a double line would be enough. Let's detach one of you. So we have one led by the Lothringen, and we'll have one led by the Hanover. I'm going to hit times 30, and we're going to watch them all bump into each other. I'm going to slow down to about half speed on both divisions. Just to let them uh, sort themselves out. Which will take a while. The 
hopefully we'll have two lines soon enough. It's starting to emerge. <laughs> Let's make it to the northeast. All right. One thing I don't want to happen is for them to kind of come up across the rear of the lines. I think, yeah, lines are separated out now. That's good. That's very good. Right. Both lines to full speed. Still no sign of the enemy. We did start a very long way out. Um, thank you for that, uh, Sunless, for giving me time to sort the <laughs> sort the lines out. Enemy smoke spotted to the north, which is exactly where we're headed. And uh, enemy shells coming in. Oh, look at that. That's what you like to see. Not so much the enemy shells, but uh, a line of dreadnoughts. Beautiful. Enemy in sight. What do we have? A Dreadnought. Very similar looking to our own. Uh, but with 14 inch guns. So we do have the caliber advantage at least. Continue to advance. One point six percent accuracy is not exactly great. And the Stoltz herself is here. <laughs> and no hits yet on either side. Doesn't look like this. I assumed it was a battleship. Could of course be a battle cruiser. Uh, no one seems overly keen. Uh, I'm going to switch all ships to uh, save. Yeah, good. Because I don't want them flinging their ammunition away too much, or at least not the 16-inch shells. We score one hit, which took a big old chunk off the enemy, which is uh, promising. And if they're content to just lob shells at the Lothringen to no effect, I'm not going to complain. They've only hit, hit it once. Twice. Visibility is bad. Okay. Still surprised we can only see one ship. Clearly others just here. Even smaller fire coming in. Yeah, this was a battle cruiser, the Northumberland. Uh, looks like another one. Now they had nine of these battle cruisers. Uh, they're not really what I'm interested in. No shells are using high TNT, heavy. Okay. 
But uh, they're down to 400 shells, the Northumberland, already. Uh, kind of just want to wait, wait them out until they're prepared to commit their ships in a more serious manner. Another ship spotted. Uh, another battle cruiser. Yeah, it definitely looks like they've uh, sent the battle cruisers out first. Uh, another ship spotted. This time, cruiser of some sort. Does have torps, uh, and is therefore a little bit more of a threat. Be a light cruiser, almost certainly. Eight-inch guns might be able to do something. Oh, we took a fifteen-inch gun hit. Okay, that tells me that there is uh, battleships not too far away. It's got a hit with the eight-inch. Crews are not lasting particularly well to being shot at. A couple of 16 inch high explosive shells. Uh, I think we might have a bead on a battleship. Yep, there is a battleship. Okay. Eight 15 inch guns versus eight 16 inch guns. Hmm. That was a big hit. Yeah, there's lots of those light cruisers. They could prove to be a bit of an issue. Oh, there we go. Yeah, until the uh, until the British prepared to close in. Really, just a skirmish at this point. Phaeton proving surprisingly resilient. and going to drop back. I don't want the lines to merge, particularly. Down goes the light cruiser. First blood to the Germans. The Prince Consort's actually getting quite close at this point. Now deciding to turn away.
pan over getting messed around with by the Lothringen, which is not overly helpful. Bit of a love tap going on. Uh, we've got a bead on the battleships. Lidite, interesting. Standard bulk is 24 knots. They do have a torpedo launcher. Armour is not amazing. Uh, increased super heavy shells. Wow, okay. Those battleships might prove to be a little bit on the explosive side. You never get a hit on them. Again, they seem content to kind of shadow us at the moment. Good hit on that battle cruiser. Finally, uh, the Kurfus Friedrich Wilhelm's been uh, had a lot of shells flung at it. Yeah, the Anson taken. Pretty heavy damage. Minimum bulkheads on those British battle cruisers, of course. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're too keen to get any closer than they are now, which is about 10 kilometers. So that's a heavy cruiser, they're not much a threat. However, a torpedo is Kurfürst, harder starboard, Hanover, harder starboard as well. A whole pile of torpedoes coming out. Must have been a light cruiser, one of them. Alright, Kurfürst, run midships. Hanover, you can I keep turning? There's a gap. Oh, to kind of aim for it. Oh, I've lost control of the Kerfist because it's no longer the lead ship. Of course, it then immediately goes straight into a torpedo. Uh, torpedoes didn't do that much damage, which is good. Two lead ships getting in an absolute mess. Shells going every which way. Desperately trying to blow up the Campbelltown. Oh, sorry, the Cape Town, not the Campbelltown. Stoltz itself takes the lead at uh, the second column. Uh, meanwhile, we've got the Anson being fired on again. Flooding hit. That's very good. Right, first capital ship down goes to the Germans as well. Again, the uh, ship from the first column interfering with the second column as it tries to fall back, which is kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, the rest of the line is coming up slowly. 
bit of an a bit of a mess at the front though. The rainbow a light cruiser goes down. Right, what should be firing at the Northumberland? Why? Fire it. Conqueror. Just with your mains though. to start reducing their main source of firepower. Getting some uh, good hits in there. Hello. Oh, that's why you're all firing at the Northumberland. <laughs> Northumberland trying to come around the other side of the line. Stolt should be able to handle it. Odin falling back. Conqueror taking some damage though. It's good to see. Imagine the Northumberland's going to fare particularly well. Yeah, that'll uh, wreck it in short order. Conqueror, meanwhile, down to about fifty percent. There's another light cruiser. Big hit. And it's a lot of flooding for the Conqueror to deal with. Trafalgar goes down. Are you sure where that is? And Conqueror. Okay. Good. Good. Starting to address the uh, balance of firepower. Cycling the ships seems to be working. Right. Uh, main line, fire on the hood next, please. Instead of a light cruiser, I know you hate the light cruisers, but come on. Stoltz, hard to starboard. Come on, turn you big, beautiful bastard. Front of midships. Gonna take one on the stern, but hopefully not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Good, good. Secondary guns doing a decent job of uh, picking on the light cruisers. Big hits on, uh, I think, both Hood and Rodney, because they're right next to each other. to 
fire nicely. Come on. Give me some big hits. Now there's another light cruiser. It's all good. Poor old Stolt's getting hammered. Oh, there we go. That is what I was worried about, or happy to see when uh, I saw how those British battleships were built. They might very well be susceptible to flash fires. Rodney goes up. That is good. Oh, and the Caesar takes a lot of damage and loses a turret. Good, good. Because uh, we can flash fire them to death. That is good. Yep, down goes the hood. Good, good. Stoltz. Uh, HD, you want you to detach and get out. And there's another light cruiser. All good stuff. Another light cruiser sinks. The Caesar not dead from its uh, flash fire adventure, but uh, going down pretty quick nonetheless. Still got plenty of ships in reserve. Now, I have taken quite a lot of them are damaged, but uh, none of them have actually sunk yet. A torpedo spread coming out though, which could be bad for the Brandenburg. But uh, dodging at this point is going to get pretty tricky. Got a bunch of torpedo hits in the rear. Just have to kind of deal with it. Caroline goes down. Oh my word, Renown blows up. Uh, yeah. 16 inch hit, just took out the magazine. That is good. We have severely reduced their firepower. Albeit, we have taken quite a lot of damage. Trio good hits on the Hindustan. Furious attempt to uh, obliterate the fox. <laughs> uh, clearly, uh, the rear ships not fans of being torpedoed. Good bit of damage. Sinking. Must be very near. There we go. Another battleship out of the fight. Uh, the Blenheim getting blasted to bits, but I th actually think uh, the rounds were aimed at the Orion. Stoltz takes another torpedo. Down goes the Orion and the Agincourt. As uh, fireworks display takes place. <laughs> yeah, 
those uh, British battleships do not handle the firepower that we have, especially when they're getting close. Obliterated that heavy cruiser. Blenheim. The uh, Triumph back here now taking quite a lot of fire. Maybe have a target lock. Bug on the uh, Prusen. It's not the best. Cruisers being dispatched fairly effectively. Stop torpedoing the stalts. So mean. No, she sinks after all this. God damn it. Oh dear. Uh, Sunless is going to have a go at me about that. Uh, unlike the other challenges, though, uh, I do not lose the battle if I lose that. Not quite sure why this division isn't firing on the King George V. Triumph goes down. Hopefully, the London will be next. Again, the rear guard ships doing their best to just be a nonsense. In fact, I wish you could like drag select detach. Does that work? Uh, no. But uh, I'm just going to put all of them on AI, the ones at the back. These guys can form up again. I know that's going to cause huge confusion. London just charging in. Hopefully deal with them in short order. Uh, if you're wondering why I put all the ships back here on AI, they're all the damaged ones, uh, and they should, yeah, the London goes down, um, should help them avoid torpedoes and things. And here's the Lord Clyde and the Retribution. Sinking all over the place. Let's try and take out Temeraire next. And here's the Natal. This is, by the way, an extremely cowardly thing to do, to attack, you know, damaged ships with uh, torpedo carrying light cruisers and the like. But uh, just shows how low the enemy will sink. Good damage there. Times five. 
another light cruiser taken out. Good hit on the Timurit. Nothing fatal as yet though. Yeah, they're manoeuvring. Let's try and preempt their manoeuvre. And there goes another light cruiser. Good, good. Command of the division to the Furtenberg, who's firing at a random target. I've got a light cruiser, presumably this one all the way over there. The scout. Secondary gun on the Timurit. Right? Computer's finally uh, speeding up a little bit. Another light cruiser sinks. Good, good. Good. Whole bunch of miss at the moment. Oh, that's more like it. Good damage. Plenty of flooding. Probably terminal flooding. Ooh, battle cruiser appears and then is immediately sunk. <laughs> Indomitable. Okay, good. Now, let's uh, focus on the barroom next. Oh, Crom Prince goes down. As well, that was one of the damaged ones at the back here. Getting torped. So they're dealing with uh, yet another light cruiser coming in. It's only the second ship that we've lost, though. German fleet holding up pretty darn well. Good hit on the bar. And another one. Yeah, Lothringen looks like she might sink, but she's still afloat at the moment. Down she goes. Three ships lost. More light cruisers appear. Bar I'm getting uh, pretty heavily hit. Hmm. Back to times five. Oh, 
graph I'm going to detach under AI control. Same with uh, posing here. Looks like they're moving on the curve first. Successfully defends itself. Might take a talk nonetheless. It's like cruisers are really irritating. Thank you so much, Sunless, for including them. There goes the Minotaur, or Minotaur, I suppose. Oh, I always call them Minotaurs. More like cruisers causing chaos. Sunk it. Uh, curve first goes down. So take out the Empress of India while she's over there. Meanwhile, lots of firepower going in on that light cruise of the Tartar. Okay, sunk, finally. Okay. Yeah, they've done a lot of damage with torpedoes. It's their second highest damage dealer off the main 15 inch guns. It's quite a lot of flooding on the Empress of India, but I don't think it's quite enough. Oh, that is so. Good, good. Right, meanwhile, We are starting to move in on the final concentration of British battleships. Uh, bullying some uh, heavy cruisers on the way. Basically, get them in a crossfire would be ideal. With the Montague and the Africa taking damage. Ooh, free with the third, pick it, detach, AI control. Big hits on the Magnificent, and a flash fire. She does get a torpedo off though. There she goes. And uh, Friedrich, he's just gonna sail straight into them. <laughs> oh well. Let's see, what do we have left? Nelson, Queen Elizabeth. There's quite a, quite a lot of battleships in here. We'll have plenty of shells. Nelson 
almost certainly going to sink very rapidly after that. The Kaiser Friedrich III goes down. Did she take another torpedo? No, just uh, too much damage for her to control. Big damage on the Queen Elizabeth there. More torpedo hits coming in. Just a weapon of cowards, really is. Queen Elizabeth sinks. Uh, Vitalspach dueling with the Africa. Taking a couple of torpedoes for a trouble. Come on. Took out a main gun. It's not bad. Lots of fire, lots of flooding. Pretty sure the Africa's down. left. We've got King Edward the Seventh and Dreadnought over here. And then we've got Jupiter Montague which is almost sunk. Illustrious in the ocean who are heading away. And then we've got the superb battle cruiser in the back. Possibly another cruiser over there. But uh, yeah, definitely the main actions over here. Oh dear. Okay. Yep. Jupiter explodes. Montague probably going to sink shortly after. Yep. Good stuff. Get back up to times five. Game will stop juddering now. Down goes superb in the back. Big, big hits on King Abel the Seventh there. Uh, it was a light cruiser coming in, the Caledon. Gets obliterated. To kind of main gun on the Illustrious. Not quite sure what the uh, AI's tactic is going to be now. Did did do quite well with those uh, kind of hit and run attacks with the light cruisers but uh, they're rapidly running out of capital ships it's a minor issue for them Torpedo launcher on the King Edward. So far, so good. gun destroyed both of his rear main guns being taken out flooding on the illustrious let's 
That's a miss. I'm going to detach the pommel because I think she'll be able to go a bit faster. Flooding hit. That's good. Oh, very nice. Engines out. Lots of flooding. Good, good. There's another light cruiser appearing from nowhere. The Mercury. But uh, with fewer targets, we're a little bit wiser to it. And uh, plenty of firepower being directed their way. Illustrious goes down. Very good. He's just got Ocean and Dreadnought who are making a run for it. We've got the Hector all the way back here, which has again appeared out of the mist. can probably take out the ocean. Especially with the uh, muscle back's help. Dreadnought though is absolutely miles away. Oh, 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 yeah, that'll uh, that'll ruin your day. Main magazine goes up, and that is completely terminal. Good stuff. Right, the Hanover sinks. Oh, it got taught. Shame. Again, still dealing with uh, that kind of nonsense, but uh, the Hector explodes for its trouble. Probably these two are trying to avoid torpedoes and went into each other. Most of my ships are now on AI control, but they'll uh, they'll manage it fine, I'm sure. Yeah, just not sure what Dreadnought's plan is here, apart from I guess dueling with the Bustleback. Nice hit. Flooding. Slow it up. Out of interest, cost wise, 39 million to our 59. So, did have a little bit of an advantage going in, but not a huge one.
really just chasing down the Dreadnought. Oh, big hit. And explosion. And we're done. Victory for the Grand Fleet. Uh, that was a tough one. <sighs> Long as well. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed that, if you would like to send me big scenarios like this, uh, do please consider the Patreon. Um, and uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.